Hello everyone, welcome back to Eyes on Prize. I pray God blessed in, in mercy and grace in your life today. So I want to talk about how to know your true friends. Yeah, that's a great topic, right? How to know your true friend. Because there's a lot of people out there that has friends and not realizing some of your friends are more like association, you know, so you need to know who are your friend and who are there just for the ride with you because not everybody that's around you that you see every day is truly your friend, truly your friend. It's like you can have friends for years decade and thinking that they're your friend until sometime you just tell the truth and the truth hurts so bad that the person that you have for over a decade they don't want to be with you anymore or around you anymore because you told the truth and that was never a friend in the first place because when you have a friend they're supposed to let you know when you're right and when you're wrong. There's a, a special friend in my life. Um, my friend, um, she lives in Chicago. And um, I remember years ago when she visited me when she was living in the state I am living. And um, she came to my house one day. I was not married. I was engaged at the time. And we were there talking. And she said to me, engagement it's not marriage. You're shacking up. <laughs> when she said that to me, I was, my spirit was furious at her. But after the end of the day, when I sat down, God break, basically pricked my spirit to say, what are you mad at? Why are you mad? She told you the truth. You're engaged. Engagement don't mean that you are married. You're living in sin. And basically that's what she was saying. And that's when I furtherly, you know, go forth and get married because, you know, I was dating for a minute. So when she said that, I said to myself, that's a real, true friend. Bold, but a good friend real friend so i say that to say this in our path of life people come to you for different reasons some people will come to you because they want to use you they want to use you to get to the next level okay whatever that level is and as soon as they get out of that level they will just drop you because now they don't need you to get to the next level they find another person that they believe can take them to the next level there are people out there that you know we find friends at time people come to us you know seeming really nice and genuine but you gotta listen to that inner voice letting you know that that person really is not a good friend to you because give an example you can have a friend that the only reason that they're coming to you as a friend is because what they can gain from you when you're there helping them and they're getting that gain from you, it's like gaining what they come to you for and you give giving into them constantly and constantly and constantly. And when the table is reversed and it's time for them to support you, there's always going to be a problem. Reason why they can't help, reason why they can't be there for you when you've been there for them for the longest time and everything that they're going through. You will be there for them, but when the tapers turn, it's like they're not there. Have you ever wondered how you'll be there for so many people that you consider, remember, you consider them as a friend. Okay, you can consider a person a friend doesn't mean that they consider you the same way. They can just be there, like I said, just to get to the next level. When you are in a problem or in a, in a bind and you're looking for somebody to help you out of that bind, you ever look around and realize there's no one there? Have you ever realized that you can be given, given, given financial blessing, helping people and everything else, and when you're in that rut, you can never find somebody that can help you out of that rut, but you've been there for them the whole time. 
another example like there's a friend of mine say that when she was when she had friends they would go to the club and she would always buy in drinks buying drinks for them giving them you know what they want which is they use her as a pawn want her to buy for them but never they never really liked her but they liked the idea that she was buying and when she finally found out is when they really wanted to come and hurt her instead you know so I say that to say this that you need to know your friend a friend don't always have to go in your pocket all the time to give friendship comes in different way you can just be there as a support to that person you can lend your ear to them to just hear what they're going through sometimes it's not about you know telling them what to do but sometimes it's about listening to that friend when they're going through things listen to them be there for them be there as that anchor for you but you would like the same thing to be reversed to you when your time comes but it's always like you can num you can have give an example you can have like 20 friends Say you have 20 friends right now, and as soon as you're going through or you're looking for somebody to talk to or somebody to help you out of a situation, everybody's gone. You maybe just find one out of the 10 that is there, really genuinely there for you to help you, and that is a friend. A friend, if you're a friend and I'm being honest with you and telling you the truth, that shouldn't terminate our relationship. It shouldn't because you were never a friend to me. And if I'm always giving you out of my pocket, giving, 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 and you're not even giving me back nothing, not looking for to, to get back anything from you because most time when you bless somebody, the blessing never coming back to the person you bless. God, God always has somebody else blessing you when you, you bless other people. So you're not really looking for them to bless you back, but you're there blessing them and they're taking. There's a lot of takers out there. There's a lot of takers. So you got to understand, you, you know, who are you allowing to come in to your circle or in your, your in your friendship to, 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 to suck you like a leash? It's like a conch worm and a caterpillar, you know? So you have to realize who is there just there to gain from you and to suck you dry and then leave you just like like you weren't even uh, existing in their life i never understand how people you have friends for years like i said decade and it's like just one thing happened and they're ready to terminate that relationship whether um sometimes you're not evil um you didn't do anything wrong but it's like there's chapter in her life. People need to understand there's chapters in her life. Sometimes it's like a book you write in. Not everybody going to be with you to the next level. Some people are just there for the re for a reason and for a season. When their season is up, they have to go. And worse, if you're, you're serving God and trying to do the right thing, not everybody going to go with you to the next level. Because sometimes you got to be very careful because sometimes that friend can pull you down. There are jealous friends out there that do not want to see other people prosper. There are people out there that that you call your friend. They want, it's like all the prosperity to come to them and them only. They want you to vast in their happiness. They want you to be happy and talk about their happiness because they like talking about their happiness. But when the table is turned and it's your time that God bless you for them to be happy for you, some people cannot find it in their mind or in their spirit to thank you some will just fake it when deep deep down they don't mean to to you know want to be happy for you because it's not about them some people just like everything to be about them and not about their friend so you gotta be careful who you allow in your circle do not let your circle be too big okay don't let that circle be big just make for me i always ask god to give me 
my friends because I don't know what a real friend is, you know, because I, if somebody, you know, if I'm helping you and in everything you're going through and being there for you as a Christian being there, I would have thought to myself, okay, you are a friend, but no, not because I think that person's a friend because I'm helping them. It doesn't mean that they are my friend. I'm just there. Maybe God just present me right there to help them at that time. But after that season and that stage is finished, it's, for t it's time for me to walk away. So you will have friends in your life that will be there for you as an anchor and root for you because I have some friends out there would always root for me, you know, and encourage me. Those are the ones that I'm grateful that I have found in my life, that God has placed in my life because friends are not, true friends are not easily come by. So when you find that true friend, Hold that friend dearly to your heart because you know what? They may be not going to be there for you ever because true friends is hard to find. It's hard to find. Tell your friends how much you love them. Tell your friend how much you appreciate them. Tell your friend how blessed you are for them, for God to put them in your life. But not everyone that comes around you are your friends. Friends don't gossip about you behind your back. They don't. And even if somebody talking about you behind your back and that friend is there, they should stop that conversation and said, you know what? That person is not there to defend themselves. So let's talk about this when that person is there to defend themselves or say whatever you're saying, whether it's right or wrong, because there, there is um, see, um, three side to the truth, your side, her side, and God's side, which is the truth. So never be quick to entertain gossip when it come on to your friend, because if that friend has been a good friend, a true friend to you, don't entertain gossip. Okay. So always remember that. And a good friend and a true friend will always bless you. When I say bless you, bless your life, speak into your life, pray for you. Even though you don't tell them to pray for you, you will just pray for them because it just come in your spirit. A true friend will know when you're hurting without you saying you're hurting. They can feel that there's something wrong, you know, in your spirit because that's what that bond is of real true friendship. So don't be, don't waste your time with people that is just there trying to use you and abuse you, okay? Or trying to break your spirit. I remember somebody say to me that their friends, they would have friends and the friend will come over, you know, when she, they know she get her check every you know, every month, that's the time that she will see them. And as soon as her check is basically finished, there's no one there. She don't see nobody, you know? So you got to realize that when you have a lot of money, people will come your way. They're like, oh my God, you're my friend, you know, because you got something that they need. So be careful of that. So that is my word to you today and how to know your true friend. Remember, friendship is a gift. It's a gift. You know, when you find a real friend and be honest and be true to yourself. When you see your friend doing wrong or being wrong, you need to tell them that they are wrong. Whether it jeopardize your friendship or not, you need to tell them because if they walk, they were never your friend in the first place. All right? So remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate appreciating you tuning in and to see or to hear what I have to say today. You have a blessed day and God bless you. Have a good one.